I'd like to say to all of the young innovators, Black Lives Matter. could nonviolent action be used against ISIS? You Even can the be a of part of, of the ISIS biggest scientific time. discoveries of our time. Sit up straight. Don't slouch. Or else you will have a really bad back. That's what I have to hear from my parents every single day. And it can get really annoying. But one day, that thought lingered in my head as I walked into class. And what I realized was that other students also had really bad back posture. I began to wonder, why do so many students have the same problem? I mean, is it something that we're doing every day? And then I realized the one thing that was similar between all of us, these desks. Now, these desks are one-sized, and they're expected to fit all of students' body types and heights. It didn't make any sense. So that night, I went home and I did a little research. It turns out that $50 billion are spent per year in just America alone on back pain medication. And lower back pain is the single leading cause of disability worldwide. Of the 15 million students that are going to be enrolled in high school as of 2016, 80% are expected to have back pain at some point in their life. So to combat this, people have tried different things to get students to sit up straighter by altering the desks. Some are ones that we're really used to seeing in our workplace environment. For example, standing desks. Or another example could be yoga balls. However, in some parts of the world, their ideas for redesigning these desks are, let's just say, rather unique. But there's always going to be someone who finds their way around that. Or in this case, under it. <laughs> so, I wanted to know, because these desks, they aren't really reasonable to have in a classroom environment, because mainly, they may mess up the dynamics and feel of it. So I decided to look at the normal desks that are used in a classroom environment. And as I looked at all of the different types, one thing became extremely apparent to me. Absolutely nothing had changed. <laughs> so I wanted to know what people thought of my theory that, you know, these desks are actually hurting students' backs. So I decided to talk to chiropractor Dr. Crockett. He explained to me what the best sitting position for our backs was. And then he also told me that these desks did nothing but harm students' backs. I then went and talked to a neurosurgeon, Dr. Maurice Collada, who told me that it was always really uncomfortable to sit in these desks. And it was really hard for him, especially because he was left-handed. And most of these desks are meant for right-handed students. He also told me that over the years, he had had an increase of younger patients, and that back pain among youth was beginning to become a serious problem. But all of this being said, it wouldn't matter what other people thought of these desks if students thought that they were just fine. So I decided to conduct a survey in my high school asking students what did they think of their desks. And my results did not surprise me. Well, all except for that one. I, I don't know what was really going on there. However, generally, most of the students said that their backs felt worse after sitting in these desks throughout the day. And of the students that I just talked to, many of them went on and on complaining about what was wrong with these desks. It was obvious that there was a need for a change. But, you know, normally, that's where our project would have ended. But now that I had identified a problem, I needed to find a solution. So I decided to redesign the student desks. To focus a goal for my redesign, I set five goals that I wanted to reach. First, the desk had to be adaptable to students' heights. It also had to be adaptable to their body types. And it had to work for both left-handed and right-handed students. It had to be easy to get into and out of. And lastly, and most importantly, it had to support their backs. So I started with a lot of different pencil sketches, addressing each part of the desk to best fit my goals. And then after that, I decided to actually design my desk using the SolidWorks software with the help of Microsoft manufacturing engineer John Adams. And then I wanted to visualize my desk, so I decided to build a model. Now, when I decide to build things or really start any project in my house, my entire house becomes my workshop, 
and in this case, my backyard did as well. I also kept in mind that these desks had to have the same footprint as the current one. That way, if we were to take them and put them in a classroom environment, it would be easy to take the really old, banged up ones and put in new ones a few at a time. So I started with the left-handed and right-handed problem. When left-handed students wrote, they weren't supported, especially on their arms. So I designed a device that would sit beneath the desk so that their desks could be moved to the right or to the left, depending on whatever students preferred. The next problem was students' heights. Some people were way too tall and others were too short. This kind of sitting is bad for both your back and your knees. And really, there's quite a range in high school, from under five foot to over six foot. So it really doesn't make sense that they're all required to sit in the exact same desk. So to combat this, I decided to use a simple pushpin system, one that we could find in crutches or shower stools. And I used the same system on the arm of the writing surface. That way, students could push their desks forward or backward so that they would no longer have to lean into them. For the next thing, so that students could easily get into and out of their desk, I drew inspiration from airplane tables that allowed you to pull your table up and put it to the side. So I devised this device. This essentially allowed students to push their desks out, put it up, and fold it aside. And I also was thinking that in class, it's not always necessary for students to have their writing surface in front of them. If they could just put it away, it would be a lot easier for them to focus on their posture and sit up straight. So lastly, and most importantly, this desk needed to save our spines. I wanted to break away from that terrible slouch that so many students have in school, including me. And I decided to use this device, a pushpin system in combination with the spring system, so that students' backs would have a little give while still having the necessary support needed to have them sit up straight. I would love to have this desk built and put into a classroom environment. There's definitely a need for a revolution here, and I feel like my desk might be one step forward in that direction. I've been doing projects for a while now, and I've had some successes and some failures, from designing a portable solar-powered water filtration system to formulating a pathway for passively targeting cancer cells. But throughout all of this, there's one thing I make sure that I always do. I make sure that I have a lot of fun, and that's helped me love what I do even more. I'd like to say to all of the young innovators, especially the girls, it doesn't matter how crazy your ideas are. Don't doubt yourself, and don't limit yourself just because another person says that it's not possible. Go for it, because nothing bad is going to come from it, and something amazing could happen too. Thank you.